You know, I was watching the women marching all around D.C. and Los Angeles on the news, and I couldn't help but think, what if all these women were marching to protect unborn babies, saying, we don't believe in murdering children. We don't believe in murdering a, an, a baby in his womb or her womb. We, we believe in life. How powerful that would be. What a message that would send to the world and send to the, 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 the children of the world. That, you know, some of the women had their daughters with them. As Madonna, the, the, the picture of sexual immorality, stands up and drops, drops the F-bomb all over the place. And they're all cheering and celebrating. And they, then they get, they get on the camera and they talk about how uh, the message is equality. And everybody, uh, everybody's equal, and, and, and we should be accepting of transgender and homosexuality. And they even try to bring the civil rights movement and the, the African-American minority issue. I want to warn you today. There is a great deception. There's a great movement that has some good characteristics in it, but just enough to trap people. The ends does not justify the means. The civil rights movement has been hijacked. It was hijacked by the homosexuals, the LGBT community. When they came in and said, we're going to join with you because I, we have a civil right to be sexually Im Im immoral. We have the civil right to go against nature and, 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 and to go against God. doesn't matter what nature or God would think. What matters is what we in our burning, filthy flesh want to do to, to, to just go against the natural use of a man or the natural use of a woman. And the African American or the minority community accepted this in general because they believe numbers gives them power. But see, what y'all miss is you don't need numbers. What you need is God. That's it. God is the majority all by himself. And so by them hijacking that, and now I see the women's movement, the abortion, uh, the transgender issue, and all this stuff being drugged. There's a movement to combine it. And they're using Trump as a figurehead or a piece to focus on to get everybody rallied together. Your hatred, your despise of a man, or your, your despise of, of, of racism, your despise of inequality, your despise of how people treat you. Satan will use that to turn it against you and help you hate and help you get a part of something you don't need to be in. I, I know this may not make sense to some of you, and some of you already wrote me off, but I'm just here to warn you. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to be followed. I'm here to tell you the truth today. There's one God. There's one Savior. His Son is Jesus Christ, the living God, the Savior of the world, who died on a cross and rose again the third day for you and I. There's coming a day when we'll stand before Him. There's coming a day soon when He's coming back to this earth. There is a demonic movement that has civil liberties in it, civil rights movement, LGBT, transgender, women's right, all wrapped up in one is demonic. Anything that raises itself against God, anything that says, I'm contrary to God's word. Anything that says it's all about the creature, not the creator, God will turn it over, just as he says in Romans 1. He'll turn them over to a reprobate mind, but he didn't turn them over to a reprobate mind because they were homosexual or because of transgender or because they, they decided to join with, with this group and abandon um, the civil rights movement being about love and forgiveness and acceptance and turning it into let's push an agenda. It's all about money and power and greed. No, he'll turn them over because of what he says in that chapter. Because they did not want to retain God in their knowledge, in their mind. When you decide to turn away from the living God and serve yourself, serve the creature more than the creator, then you are following Satan. There's a demonic move. I'm here to warn you today. Turn away from that. Don't get caught up in that. How do you know if you're a part of something that's good and right and wholesome and, and, and should be? If it lines up with God's word. If it does not line up with God's word, it is not of God. I don't care how close to it. It's almost right. Satan only needs just a tiny bit of you. That's all he needs. God requires 100%. The devil knows that. If he can get just a little bit of you, he's got you where he wants you. There's two paths in this life. There's the broad path. Everybody's on it. Oh, man, this is the way it's popular. It's good. It's prosperous. People like me. And then there's the narrow path where Jesus said, I was hated. And if they hate me, they will hate you. But then he goes on to tell us, don't be afraid. Don't be fearful. Don't be stressed out. Don't be anxious for anything. But by prayer and supplication, re remember what I tell you. That when this starts to happen and things start to get the way they're getting and you see these things happening, look up for your redemption's drawing nigh. I don't need anybody to help me go find you or get you out of it. 
I myself will come and get you. Because the trump will sound. Time will be no more. Those that are in the grave are going to bust up and come out. Us that are alive and remain are going to be caught up in the air with him. It's called the rapture. And so we will ever be with the Lord. He has the power, the authority. He has the ability to save to the uttermost. He doesn't need anybody. What we got to get today is that we're in the last days. It's not a, it's not a dream. It ain't a, a figment of your imagination. You are literally living in the last days. He's called us to go, to be a witness. And there's so many people afraid and cowering down and not being what He's called us to be. We're seeing all this stuff going on. We're saying, oh my, what are we going to do? It's, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. The world's already been in, in that handbasket. Already. Jesus didn't pray for the world. He prayed for us. He said, I pray not for the world, but I pray for you. In this world, we'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Hallelujah. He has overcome the world. I hope this blesses you. If you're not saved, please repent of your sins. Believe on Christ. He died for you. He rose again for you the third day. Be born again. Please share this and tell someone that Jesus loves them because I'm telling you, all this love that we see preached on the TV, I see hate. All this acceptance, acceptance they preach and tolerance, I see unacceptance and un intolerant toward anyone but their own agenda, their evil, wicked agenda. I'm warning blacks, whites, women, men, all, doesn't matter. I'm warning you today, don't get caught up in this movement, this demonic deception that Satan has orchestrated and so many are falling prey to. Please share this.